Hey everyone, it's Tom, and today we're taking a look at what I think is a very good mini PC for its price. This is the GMK Tech K6, and well, 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 it's actually advertised as a gaming mini PC. How true is that, though? Now, before we talk about real world performance, let's talk about the specs first. So, what is inside of it? Inside the GMK Tech K6, we've got the AMD Ryzen 7 7840HS. That's an 8-core, 16-thread CPU with boost speeds up to 5.1GHz, and it's also paired with 32GB of DDR5 RAM at 5600MHz and a 1TB SSD. It sounds cool and all, but there's no mention of a GPU, and that shouldn't really be a cause for concern. In place of a dedicated GPU, we have an integrated GPU in the Ryzen 7 7840HS, and that comes in the form of the Radeon 780M. Now compared to the 660M and 680M that we talked about in previous many PCs, the 780M is a much more capable GPU. And with that being said, let's address the burning question you have in mind. Can I game on this thing? You can, but no, it's not replacing a proper GPU like an RTX card, but if you're into esports titles like Valorant, CS2, League of Legends, or more story-driven games, or casual games like GTA 5 or Minecraft, this thing can run them and it runs them surprisingly well. The 780M is roughly equivalent to a GTX 1650, more or less. Now let's start off with a demanding game, Cyberpunk 2077. Medium settings at 1080p gives you an average of around the mid to high 40 FPS, but using FSR should help you run things much better. Alternatively, you can drop your resolution and I think that's a pretty okay experience. Up next we have GTA 5, and at high settings 1080p using DX12, the game runs relatively smooth with figures ranging from around 60 to even 90 FPS on some occasions. And, of course, the ever-present Valorant. At high settings at 1080p, the game average is around 90 to 100 FPS, which is, which I think is, you know, pretty fine for competitive games. Where this mini PC should be used for is with productivity tasks or for consuming media and whatnot. The Ryzen 7 processor along with a Radeon 780M GPU are decent enough for almost all your needs, really. Now, the 32GB of DDR5 RAM is already a lot for multitasking and light creative work, but if you're wild and want to upgrade to 64GB, you can do that. Is it overkill? Probably. Should you care that it's overkill? Probably not. It's better to have more RAM when you don't need it than to have no RAM when you do. Now the good thing is, the RAM is accessible and all you have to do is replace it with two 32GB sticks. Just like the RAM, the SSD is upgradable and you can either swap it out, which I don't recommend, or on a simpler note, just add another drive if you want even more storage. So, what do I think about the GMK Tech K6? I'll be honest with you, for $500, I think this mini PC is worth it. It's got great hardware, great internals, and the form factor is also a plus. Anyhow, you can check out this mini PC and as for upgrades, well, for now, I don't think you'd need any because this mini PC on its own is by far one of the best deals I've ever seen. It's Tom, thanks for watching and as always, make sure to like and subscribe if you found this helpful.